Hi everyone, welcome back to Christina Land, a place for grown-up gift givers and adult toy collectors. And happy Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, which is all the month of May. And I think it's so appropriate for this month to have this gorgeous, gorgeous Barbie inspiring women doll series based on Anna Mae Wong. She was one of the first, if not the first, Chinese American actresses. She was also the first Asian American to lead a U.S. television show. She was both a trailblazer and a fashion icon. If you want to learn more about Anna Mae Wong, I highly, highly recommend the YouTube channel Be Kind Rewind, specifically the video Oscar So White, From Anna Mae Wong to Aquafina. And I'll put a link to it in the description. And please note, this video was made three years ago, so it was before Michelle Yeoh won her Oscar. And if you're interested in Hollywood, specifically actresses and Oscar-winning actresses or actresses who were nominated for Oscars, then Be Kind Rewind is a great, great channel for you. But enough about that. Let's get into this beautiful, beautiful, I mean, she is just gorgeous, Inspiring Women series. I really, really like the Inspiring Women series. And... Um, Right now, she's not available on Amazon. I will put a link to it, and uh, her price should be about $35. So if you see that price for more than it, don't buy it. That's a third-party vendor. Hopefully, she'll be back in stock. And if you do, use the link. It's an affiliate link, so I will get a small commission for it. But um, I've always liked the Inspiring Women series ever since it first debuted. I do have a few others that I was able to get. I'm so glad I did because they're not available right now. And I just kind of want to show you the differences, if there are any, between the packaging. So the packaging is basically the same, same shaped box. It's just a different background. So I have Maya Angelou and then Anna Mae Wong and then Helen Keller. So just like a different background, but it's the same style, a slim rectangular box. And you can tell that the back of the box, it has a little biography on the women in the series, on the doll in the series. The only difference of Helen Keller's is the back of hers is in Braille, which is really, really awesome. I don't know if I'm ever going to unbox Helen Keller because of that. She does have her biography higher up in English, but down below is in Braille. Something I noticed right away that I didn't see in any of the other Barbie women inspiring series is that the anime wand doll has painted fingernails. See a little bit of red on her nails. She is absolutely gorgeous. And um, yeah, I can't wait to open her. So let's do that. I will open her and we will get in for a closer look. So she comes with a certificate of authenticity, which is just paper. Then she also comes with this stand. It is a clear plastic. My particular stand, the little holder, is very loose. Okay. Well, you know what a stand looks like. And then the base is red. Anna Mae Wong doll has very gelled bangs. Black hair, very gelled bangs. Her hair is... I don't know what I exactly call it. I mean... It feels very gelled, like it's kind of a ponytail, but it's very gelled, so I think her hair might be longer than it seems. She has light tan skin with brown eyes, heavy eyeliner, yellow eyeshadow, pencil eyebrows, which was the fashion back in her time. Very red lipstick. These gorgeous gold plastic dangly earrings. She wears a red sheer, um, what I would call shawl, maybe a wrap, a red sheer wrap around her neck that goes down past her dress even, past her feet even. Yeah, let's call it a wrap. I don't think it's a shawl. I think shawl is supposed to keep you warm. This is not warm. She has a dress that is red. It's satinly feeling, satin, satin feeling, very nice material. She has gold sparkly straps, and then the bodice of her dress 
has blue flowers and some red flowers. And then over the overlay on her dress is this gold dragon shaped, um, like kind of in an S shape. The head is near her right elbow I and mean, it all it goes into an S shape with the tail down below near the end of her bodice area. And like I said before, she has red painted fingernails, which honestly is something I've not seen Barbie do for an inspiring woman doll. None of my other Barbie dolls I have have painted nails, so this is a really neat addition, especially because Anime Wan would have painted nails. Something to mention too is that the bodice the design, the print on the bodice, the blue flowers, the green leaves, it goes on the back of her bodice too. She is so beautiful, you guys. Like, just gorgeous. Let's look at her shoes. In her shoes, she has pumps that have a T-strap design and then a bit of a design on the front of the shoes. Kind of looks like a sandal, but they are gold. They're gold color and made out of plastic. They're really nice. And then she does have molded on underwear that I'm not going to show, but it's just um, the color of her body, but molded on underwear. Articulation. I usually do really good at articulation at, I'm sorry, women's series dolls. Let's see. She moved her head to the left, to the right, up and down, to the side, to the shoulder, and then out. at the elbow and then a little stiff but at the wrist too there we go she can sit down and oh they put cardboard around her knees I didn't realize that so I will remove that and then we'll see if she has knee joints she does bend at the knees move her skirt up a little don't want to hurt the overlay but and she does have knee joints. This doll is truly, truly gorgeous. I highly, highly recommend her, especially if you, maybe you're not a Barbie collector, but maybe you are an old Hollywood fan, then I think you really need this doll in your collection. I am so glad I was able to purchase her. And I really hope she comes back in stock. They usually do. Um, I think the only dolls that didn't seem to ever come in stock was Amelia Earhart and Frida Kahlo. Am I upset about that? And Katherine Johnson. I'm upset about that. I was able to buy her on pre-order, which is only why I have her. So um, according to what I've looked at Target, the pre-orders have sold out and she will ship June 10th. So I'm hoping that means around June 10th she'll come back in stock. What I recommend is if you have the Target app, um, you should be able to put notify me when she's available. Or if you have Amazon, you could um, put her in your cart and then save her later. And then Amazon should tell you if, the other, if you have the Amazon app when she goes back to a more reasonable price. Because right now she's $65. Don't pay that. Pay $35 USD. But she is simply beautiful. I am so glad I have her. Yeah, just every everything about her is gorgeous. And I just, I love her so much. Please like this video if you haven't already. Please also, subs please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe for more videos if you haven't already. And ring the notification bell so you can be notified each time I post a new video. Please share with your friends if they're interested in purchasing the Anime Wong Inspiring Women series Barbie doll. And remember, it's okay to like what you like, be who you are, and stay Yen at heart. And we will see you in the next video. Bye!